I'm getting a bollocking. Yep, bollocking's coming. But, uh, what can you do? So tonight, it's the Funky Gibbon. I'm sure there's a song about that. Hey, 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 the Funky Gibbon. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm no shit at singing. Anyway, it's from Blue Monkey Brewery, based basically where Ikea is. <laughs> Nottingham Ilkeston border. I've just had the klaxon to say I'm online. You need a video. It's not come on all night. How, how funny is that? Third third review in, and all of a sudden we get an email. Hey, good old YouTube. Yeah, oh, good luck, aren't they? So this is a traditional light copper coloured session ale. Funky Gibbon is infused with Williamette hops from the USA to create a fruity and earthy beer, which perfectly balances malt and hops, brewed and bottled in the UK, or just around the corner from where I live, really. A couple of miles that way. More close to my daughters than myself, but yeah, the Blue Monkey. These fellas do some nice beers. And if you're ever in the Nottingham area, good evening. Good evening. Broadside, oh, bless you. <laughs> yeah, the red cards from the wife. It'll become it'll become known around the country at, the, at some stage. You know, it's about all about how, how you um. Oh shit, I've got some down my leg now. It's all about how you get away with it, isn't it? You know, it's about going in the house, not stinking a bit, being a bit quieter. This is where this is an oasis for me. I love doing reviews down the beer room. So there it is. Don't you just love that? I, I absolutely, you know, there's some things in the there's, there's, there's small things in life that make a difference. And building this with a piece of decking, as you can see here, because it's decking, and a little shelf here for the bear to sit on, it means now that I don't have to stand there trying to hold the thing so that YouTube takes a picture of the bloody beer bottle for me. Good evening. No, no. I heard there was no emails. I get the email klaxon to let me know. So, you know, there's a couple of, um, this is the third review. Can't do any more. I'm already um, on the way. So, copper coloured beer, little white head. And uh, now, Blue Monkey, so close to my heart. I've been on, um, they had a beer night. <laughs> yeah, I have a beer night and, uh, sorry, I had a beer night at Blue Monkey and uh, yeah, I'm glad I am. I don't want to go to France anyway, apart from Disneyland Paris. Um, we went to these for, for a brewery piss up once and it was amazing. Great beer, you know, all stood around in the brewery amongst all the, all the big tanks. <laughs> yeah, I think he's better looking, to be honest. Yeah, I need to shave as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. They're all jumping on the bandwagon, aren't they? Wankers. We don't need them. Another email. I don't know if you just heard that. Yeah, that's probably to say banned from YouTube. Too many beer reviews. <clears throat> so, these fellas bring out some amazing beers. If you ever go on, go on bluemonkeybrewery.com um, I think that's it yep Blue Monkey Brewery yeah. um, they've just brought out a coconut mild I have never heard of anything like that before that, uh, and these are the beers that you know these are random beers that push the boundaries if you think of mild beers when I worked at Sainsbury's I'd get people coming up all the time excuse me do you sell a mild? no Based at Giltbrook, so it's near Ilkeston. If if you've ever been to the IKEA that's near Nottingham, basically they're just around the corner. Although the boss, the boss man, did get a bit peed off when people were pissing in the bushes, and there was complaints. I think they only had one toilet at the time, and uh, yeah, there was a there was a hoo ha. So very malty on the aroma. Yeah, not far away from Ilkeston. No, just around the corner from Ikea. So where Ikea is in that massive 
shopping complex there, which is absolutely top notch. Especially now there's a Marks and Spencers there, just around the corner. There's Blue Monkey, just across the road from Screwfix. Jobs are good. And, and uh, you know, you go in, but make sure you take some money with you because you ain't coming out. You know, you need to take 50 quid with you. Because once you've been in that shop and you look and think, oh, that's a beer I've got to have. That's a beer I've got to have. And uh, I never go into a brewery shop empty-handed because I know that I'm going to be enticed into buying every single, every single beer that they've got. I did a Blue Monkey uh, beer haul oh, about a year or so ago. And uh, I went into the shop and it was like flipping heck. I've got to have that and, you know, just keep going. Make sure you buy yourself the Coconut Mild as well. Let me know what you think of it. Because that's their new bit. But they've also got Baboonska. Now, Baboonska, and I'm sure that Baboonska is number 24 on the Adventure Beer Advent Calendar. I'm sure of it. I think it's an 8.5%. And if I'm not wrong, it's an Imperial Stout, but only 8.5. So it's not too strong. And uh, strong enough, mind you. And I'm sure they've got three variations of it as well. So fair play to them for bringing out the variations. And I've been banned from buying bloody beer because I've already cocked up one Christmas present. And uh, I don't buy the Baboonska because I know there's one on the 24th. So after after the advent calendars are out of the way, then I can go back to Blue Monkey and start buying again. And uh, that's going to be an interesting day, that number 24. And they haven't peaked either. I've been good. I've not peaked. I'm, you know, you know you're know, like a kid, aren't you? You think, fucking hell, I can't wait till Christmas Day. I mean, I remember being, as a child, waiting for my mum and dad. That's when my dad actually lived with us, before he pissed off. I was about nine at the time. And uh, although we never seen him much, anyway, because he used to work in Germany. But waiting for them to go to bed about 12 o'clock on Christmas Eve, and then listening, listening, sitting there listening. Because you don't, you don't sleep, do you, as a kid? Going down the stairs and opening my presents. And they were the good Christmases. I mean, they still used to fight. You know, both liked the beer too much. Both used to fight. Stopped my dad stabbing my mum with a knife once. Well, no, he actually stabbed her once behind the ear. And uh, I stopped him doing it twice. He'd have probably killed her if he'd have reached the wrong thing. But, you know, the things you see as children... Luckily, my children have never seen anything like that, you know. I'm as far away from a from a violent person as you could be. Although, to protect your family, you would do whatever needed. Wouldn't you? Oh. But anyway, lovely beer. Very much traditional. Yeah, it's funny, you know. As a child, for those people who've lived brilliant lives where they've never seen any violence and that, then that's great. As a child, I've seen more of life as a child than I've seen as an adult, which is a slightly disconcerting. Yeah, so it says here, traditional light copper uh, coloured session ale. And it creates a fruity and earthy beer. And I've got to say, it's a very traditional tasting beer for me. Very malty, very easy drinking. You know, it's only just for put more pent into it. Yeah. And, but they do make some nice beers. My only, and uh, you know, as a reviewer, you've got to have a gripe. My only little gripe is the plum stout wasn't plummy enough for me. But saying that, Obviously, you know, um, we've all beers. We've all got an opinion on beers we drink. And uh, I suppose, really, you're catering for the masses rather than, you know, just one. I'm going to sit and watch some Christmas films. We're going to sit on the settee. Hopefully, I'm not too tanked after drinking this. Thank God it's only a 4.1. And uh, I'm going to sit down. Watch Christmas films, try not to fall asleep, and uh, just enjoying that with my wife and uh, the little one. 
Although he'll probably piss off upstairs and wouldn't play on his switch. She'll be knackered because she's been stressing over cakes all day. And she ran a half marathon this morning, bless her. You know, she's done well. And I'm lucky, I'm very, very lucky that I found the, you know, the perfect woman for me 28 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, 28 years ago. Or was it longer? Married in 98, 29 years ago. Same, uh, the thing with Titanic is um, Titanic is more sweeter. The plum porter is more, not sweeter, you know, nicer in that respect. It's all down to tastes. The Imperial version of Titanic plum porter. I've tried the Grand Reserve. That was nice. I've heard of a pl Imperial. Whew. Imperial plum porter at 10%. Bloody hell, that'll be summer. We need to uh, get hold of Titanic and say, make an Imperial version. Imperial, favourite Christmas films? Elf. Elf's the best film of all time. Bloody hell. Polar Express. Oh. Christmas, Disney's Christmas Carol. The Muppet Christmas Carol. Muppet, I think it's Christmas Carol, isn't it? Muppet, the Muppet one anyway. Yeah, awesome films. But then again, Die Hard. Flipping heck, brilliant, Christmassy film with music at the end at least. Home Alone, oh, you know, there are some amazing Christmas films out there. But Elf, where he takes the piss out of that, um, says, are you from the South Pole? And uh, that bit just makes me piss. It's a wonderful life. Yes, you know, I've never watched that all the way through. And uh, in a year where I have suffered some serious issues and contemplated some very very dark things that would be a very interesting film to watch early in the day especially before i've had a drink christmas with the cranks deck the halls jack frost fucking hell brilliant brilliant all brilliant films yes yeah i need to watch it. i need to watch it early in the day without falling asleep you know because it's an older film but, you know, I like the old Scrooge um, film. Um, oh, fucking hell. What's his name? In the 60s. Yes, you'll probably like St. Peter's better. Jack Frost. Oh, dear. And, you know, these films that make you cry. And let's be honest. You know, if you don't cry at certain films, Albert Finney. Was it Albert Finney? No, I don't think it was. It was the other bloke, the other actor. Shit, I can't remember his name. It is a good film. You know, it is a good film. Um, oh. He was in the... The bloke I'm thinking of also did the St. Trinian's films, which I love the St. Trinian's films. Kind of pervy, I suppose, you know, but, um, yeah. <laughs> and I haven't watched the St. Trinian's films this Christmas. Terrible. And I think they ought to make a 2020 St. Trinian's film. But then again, oh, my God, all the, all the pedos in prison would be all there. <clears throat> But, uh, but make a St. Trinian's film with 18 year olds in it that'd be, that'd be interesting yeah legal oh bless you I know I, I'm ready now for some um, Christmas films I'm, as you get closer to Christmas Alistair Sim he's the best yes you're right he's by far the best although Michael Caine in the Muppet one he was excellent too Saturday and Sunday morning. That's a Nottinghamshire film, if I'm not mistaken. Patrick Stewart, he did play a good one. A good Scrooge. Oh. You know, there's nothing better than a beer or a wine, you know, or even a spirit. Christmas Eve or at Christmas, sitting down, 
watching Christmas films with a nice beer, not falling asleep, because I'm deadly for that, and enjoying the film and enjoying the experience of the film. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, rally. You know, Britain has lost so much of its... Um, you know, we used to make things. And now we don't. And we need to get back into that. <laughs> oh, dear. Nottingham had some massive firms. Boots, Plessy, Rally, John Player. Yeah, I never really watched the football films, to be honest. You know, going off, off topic. But that's what reviews and uh, chats are about, isn't it? It's about, you know, talking about anything, you know. What's out there? Oh, so... Enjoying this fella. I have drank it before at some stage. God. And uh, these fellas do make a lot of different beers. Chocolate Gorilla Amaretto. I'm sure that's one. But I forget, you know. So for me, a good... Fucking hell, I'm not doing a fourth. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Green Street was very hooligan related, wasn't it? Had the old uh, him out of the um, Lord of the Ring movies. No, I can't. I'll get a bollocking. <clears throat> so for me, a nice sessionable multi beer. Oh, Evil Dogs, bloody awesome! I mean, I've got my. Oh, it's starting to go solid. When it goes solid, it, it, it should be redder. This is my Imperial Russian Stout. Black as they come. Smells bloody brilliant. I'm going to take three up the house and uh, wait for it to get nice and solid. <laughs> oh, God. I've done three. Um, yeah, for me, a very nice, sessionable beer. Oh bless you! It is Christmas. I'm doing it. I'm doing another review later, funnily enough. But it'll be a chocolate wine review. But it might not be live. Um, I love Jason and the Argonauts. Went to see it at the pictures years ago, and Sam, Sinbad. Yeah, I think it was a two a two movie special when back in the days when they did two movies. Yeah, these days you'd be a dime for a piss after the first. Um, like you are with um, three, three hour Marvel films. So for me, a very nice sessionable ale. I'm gonna call it on the front, can't you? And uh, from a great brewery that's close to me, a one that's, you know, close to my heart. There's some breweries that I really love. Out of five, about a 4.0 out of five. Very nice, very sessionable. Uh, all day with you, fucking now that'd be so wouldn't it? Boris in the COVID, yeah. <laughs> right, I better knock off now because uh, bollocking off the wife's coming. Thank everybody for watching and commenting. It's been an absolute blast. This last review has really has, and it's good to see that YouTube actually um, caught on and realised I was reviewing. Good on them. Mangrove Jacks do some nice stuff, but make sure you put it in tights. <laughs> And uh, cheers for the uh, for being there. As always, always good fun to have the you know everyone talking and that. And uh, now I'm up the house and uh, chill out watching Christmas films. Jobs are good and I'm gonna enjoy my Chinese. Cheers. <laughs> I don't really care really. Yeah, it's all about drinking beer, isn't it? Cheers. Chocolate wine. I know it's gonna be interesting. Oh, probably tastes like shit. <laughs>